We are about to get started planting our corner garden that is in the backyard. Mm -hmm. For now, it is being called a corner garden. We have no idea what to name this space. So after you guys see it and get an idea of how it looks, we would love some name ideas. I like when gardens have names and it kind of makes it easier for us when we're talking about it, yeah. when we're talking about the space. It looks like more than just a corner garden. It's so much more than this little piece of the yard. Yeah, it, like. is, it is kind of big. And I think my overall goal with this space is to have some more blockage because as you... As people drive up from the street, you can see through the entire backyard. And I like the idea of secrecy. Like a hidden oasis. Right. Like having garden rooms, you mm -hmm. know, because when gardens have rooms, it's like you can't see into the next space. You have to keep walking. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much what I want to do or what I'm trying to create with this corner garden. <laughs> and it is currently drizzling out here. My glasses have water spots all over them. Yours does. Yours too. Too. So we're probably uh, just yes. going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> we have a lot of annuals. So as I begin to set them out, I will share with you everything that we are planting today. <laughs> so exciting. Let's do this. I am excited. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go ahead. It wasn't recording. I'm joking. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> <laughs> your jaw just dropped. Oh my goodness. While I get everything set up, let me share with you what we are planting today. So we have some purple petunias. They are so gorgeous. We have true yellow, alternanthera, also called Joseph's coat. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> we have some proven winter graceful grasses, King Tut. I really like how this one looks and it gets seven feet in one season, which is pretty cool. We have some pretty purple angelonia. I love how dainty the flowers look. It kind of reminds me of salvia, which I have already planted in this spot. So I think they'll look really good together. And the last thing to go in the space is the Proven Winter Supertunia Vista. And this one is Snowdrift. I love how the blooms look. Supertunias are one of my favorite annuals to plant. And I do plant them every single year. <laughs> These regular petunias stay kind of compact. So I am just going to use them as my first plant right around the edges of the rocks. So I'm just gonna follow the border all the way down to the end with these petunias. And I'm placing them about 12 inches apart. It says six to eight, uh, six to eight but I'm going to do 12 inches because I feel like that's enough, that's enough space for them and they will still touch. For these ones, I'm gonna just go between the verbena. There's some like good like indents in the rock that I Yeah, feel that's like... what I was trying to do. So it flows over it. Yeah. You want no the path. Okay, so you, you want me to go to okay, I so now now skip right there, skip right there. You can leave that one right there. So But I'm not really gonna like plant this in the I'm probably gonna plant it here. Okay. So this one probably could come out to that? Probably, yeah. Okay. Rodney and I have gotten all of the plants where we want them, just about where we want them. Oh, there's a bee on that. <laughs> I'll probably end up moving this petunia though. It's a little too close to these ones. But I'm going to get everything planted up now and then we will come back in the evening and I'll kind of take on a mini tour of where we ended up planting everything. <laughs>
After we finished planting this space up for the day, we figured out a name for this garden and we're gonna be calling it the Garden Nook. I feel like it describes this area perfectly. And I looked up the de definition of nook and it says a corner or recess, especially when offering seclusion or security. And I feel like it describes this little corner garden perfectly. I love the name so much. Let me know what you guys think about it. The Garden Nook. It is now the evening and I am going to show you where we ended up placing everything, starting with these three Angelonia here. I absolutely love these purple blooms and hopefully they end up spreading out and touching. Alternanthera is what it's called. And we have them going kind of in like this drift pattern down there and then we have more that we will show you in a second oh yes and then we got one of our border pieces which is the petunias about 36 in total that we planted yeah all throughout this border up to 30, the house 36 i 36. think about 36 yeah 36 all that's on our border the way down It's gonna be popping with purple. It's gonna be absolutely, absolutely gorgeous yes, going yes. down that border. Cannot wait to see that. It's gonna be popping. <laughs> gonna be popping. <laughs> yeah. What's next? Oh, I guess we go ahead for the grasses. Arthur is over here. It's not King Arthur. King Tut, right? King Tut. I don't wanna say King Arthur. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, King Tut. We have two King Tut grasses right here and our goal with these is that it will hopefully give us some privacy from our neighbors. Now to say we don't like our neighbors, we talk to them every time we see them. <laughs> we just want to have this area be like the secret garden. Yes, it should kind of give us like a little uh, wall right. of border. Wall of border. Yeah, border wall. <laughs> like a border wall. And they get pretty tall. I believe they get um, 72 inches. Yeah, six feet. Yeah, about six <laughs> feet. So <laughs> it'll be curious to see get that tall in one season. Very curious. Oh, that'll be crazy because we do have some grasses that really just blooms. So if I think it will. Blooms? I mean, uh, this get tall gets and Gets tall fuller. really quickly in a yeah. season. So yes. I guess we'll see. It's my first time growing them. And I think we have one more over here too. Yeah, we have another King Tut right here. And I feel like I need some more King Tut also. Yeah. Those look so sad. Oh. <laughs> the little verbena I, I had transplanted earlier from a container, like self seed in a container. Tried to transplant them um, and they look you might be happier tomorrow. Think so? Maybe. Uh huh. <laughs> Let's sad. see what happens. That's very sad. Okay, the other King Tut. Transplant shock. Transplant shock, yeah. Here is the other King Tut. All by its lonesome. I think it needs friends. Down that way? Yeah, we can do that. Let's do that. Oh, we also do have some um, climbing vines over here. Oh, yeah. So I initially. Initially planted Morning Glory here, and then the, uh, it's weird. It's something like ate it up. I don't know what happened. I have one left. Yeah, Pest or something is eating up the leaves. I left this one here, but I ended up over here just throwing a hyacinth bean vine. This one should do good, and hopefully it should cover up 
cover of this entire trellis. It's a seed from last year that we collected. Yes. Those so. are Hyson Bean Vine seeds that I collected and saved last year and replanted. You said so. he was pretty expensive to buy his by itself. Yeah, they are expensive. So, and we have a lot more that sprouted out in our yard too. Actually, where we had our last one, where it was on a back. Yeah, deck. I like self seeded again. Yes. So here, let's see. Again, the petunias, and we have the Alter Nan Thera. There has Alter to be a shorter Nan name. Thera. It has to be a short name for that. Um, I feel like that's a, isn't that a scientific name? It probably is. It sounds like a scientific name. Okay. And here are our lovely purple petunias. Here they are. They are going to just spill over these rocks. Cannot wait to see them. More of those drifting in this spot. And the petunias walk our, make our way back down. And this container we did not plant yet. We are going to do that in another video. <laughs> okay, we have two containers, a couple, three containers yeah, over here another. that we were going to up the pot. Right, focus it. Yeah, we have that container over there. We also have this container that we have not planted up yet. And I think what's going to go in here is this, this Super Tunia Snow Drift. And then this, what is this? Creeping Myrtle. It's very pretty. I love the green color. And I think those two will look, will look great together. Yes, I right have one there, and I feel like I need another one. And then there's one here. It's gonna look so good. Their AC cut on as soon as you did that. <laughs> Rodney has sat down, so <laughs> I believe this concludes the tour of our. We figured out a name. What's the name? Is the Garden Nook. The Garden Nook. I absolutely love that name. Rodney has named it the Garden Nook. I love it. It sounds nice and cozy and perfect. Perfect name for this spot. I just want to just. You just want to chill? And, and just see and just like imagine how it's going to look in like a, a couple of weeks. No. Just a couple of weeks, right? <laughs> exactly. <grow> <laughs> I can't wait. Everything. It's been a long day, too. It has been a long day. Everything is going to look so good. It's the joys of gardening, say. We're going to end the day the same way we started, right on this bench. <laughs> it has been a long day. I am worn out. I'm tired. <laughs> right, I'm going to sit right down here while they play. <laughs> I'm going to stay here while they play. I have the, the same idea as you. But guys, thank you so much for watching. And we will see you in the next video. <laughs> and then I'm going to wake up in the morning like, let's go plant some more things. <laughs>